Well, here we are at the Mandarin Garden, where tonight the Renaissance Fair is having their final fundraiser. Let's go up and meet everybody and see if the Queen is here. Well, I have found... Do I call you damsels? Um, we would be winches. Oh, winches. winches. That's right, winches. Yeah, winches. How about that? The Renaissance Fair. Us. This is the third, fourth. Five. Man, how time flies. Oh. So, Linda, you, uh, you got this idea how far before you did the first one? About ten minutes. <laughs> I know, and of course it was out at the uh, in Enderbach. at the Enderbach, mm -hmm. and it was wonderful out there. I mean, it was such a nice place. But you found a better place, really. Yeah, yeah. Enderbach on, was lovely, but we didn't have enough parking. I know it. So, I know it. So we had to find some place with parking. Uh -huh. And now we're on about ten acres of fair and nine acres of parking. I know it. So we're, we're very excited about that. And um, let's give the dates. August 13th, or 12, 13, 19, and 20th. Right. I'd like to tell people it's two weekends mm -hmm. in, in a row. And uh, the fair site is just off of Moon Ridge Road. Right behind Applebee's and right. Apples. Apples. Oh, I'm sorry. Apples. Oh, Apples. apples. <laughs> it's actually not behind that. It's between, it's between Apples and Gold Mine. You're right, yeah. right, it is. Yeah. And the and parking is on the uh, Bear Mountain, Lower Bear Mountain parking. Uh huh. And um, entrance is on uh, Elm Street. Sure. Now, what, one of the things that I, even the first year, I mean, I was just absolutely stunned that there are traveling guilds that go around yeah. to all the Renaissance fairs. So it's just not a few local people. I mean, these are authentic vendors and entertainers and right. and everything. I mean, yeah, we have um, guilds that travel around to uh, authenticate the everyday life of Elizabethan times. Uh huh. We have entertainers. We have some new entertainers this year, and of course, the Poxy Boggarts will be back. Sure. And uh, they're always a hit. Um, we will have some new and exciting things for our fifth anniversary. Wow. We have a live chess, um, a human being chess game. Oh, really? So if you want to come and be a chess piece, come and be a chess piece in our uh, game. There'll wow. There'll be two games each day, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Uh -huh. And we'll have chess masters. And if you are a chess master, please come and, and try your skill at playing with real humans. Really? That, that's amazing. Yeah. And of course, there. jousting. Jousting, full contact joust and uh -huh. dancing horse again. Mm -hmm. Yes, and there's always a villainous black knight that Ooh, I know. tries to come and take over the good knights. And uh, they will be entertaining our queen and, and our guests alike. I know. And when you do have an elegant Queen Elizabeth and her court, and she strolls the fairgrounds and and people stop and take pictures and chat with her with their English accent. Yes, our queen is Elena Peavy. Uh -huh. And she's known throughout the fair world as the friendliest children's queen there is. Really? Yes, yes. Each queen has their own little niche. Uh -huh. But our queen always gives each and every child a gift that comes to children's court. Uh -huh. And she stops and she's very friendly. She comes and every child has a word with the queen, whether it's children's court or just seeing her in the street when she's on shopping. Tour. Oh, sure. So, so now, it's everyone. And there's no charge for parking, there's just a charge for admission, Correct. which is well worth it. Oh, yes. It's an, uh, I call it an experiential uh, event. Otherwise, always, it's an actual experience that you have yes. in the Elizabethan times. Right. We have five stages. Uh huh. And of course, we do have uh, one stage by demand of my husband is devoted entirely to belly dancers. Really? So we have our uh, Mystic Blade, and that has our Middle Eastern uh, flair to it, and uh -huh. that's where our belly dancers are. And we also have our uh, Western States uh, Shakespearean 
the competition, and that's a high school competition. Oh, that's right. Yes, and so um, those applications are on our website. It's for any high school child from ninth to twelfth grade. Uh -huh. And the prizes for the, that is one female $500 scholarship and one male $500 scholarship. Wow. And it is not judged by Big Bear people, so it's a fair chance for everyone. Really? Let's give your website, www.bigbearrenfair.com. Wow, very easy. Just R-E-N. F A I R E. No E. Oh, no E. We're trying to make it very simple for the mundanes. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm a mundaner. You are, sir. <laughs> <laughs> nice seeing both of you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. The elegance of a queen, and a queen we have. Hi, Queen Elizabeth. Hello there. Good evening. How are you this evening? I'm doing quite well. Oh, Thank you. very good. We talked about you and how wonderful you are. Indeed. Uh-huh. <laughs> and with children also. Oh, that's my favorite thing. I know. My favorite thing is children's court at fair. I know. Of course, being a teacher, what, what else? True, but I always taught the big kids. But I find that in these later years, I especially have a soft heart for the younger ones. Oh, I know it. So I love for them to come and visit me. Come and visit me at the fair. I generally give them a little coin and sometimes uh -huh. some other little gifts to remember the queen by and to remember our fair by. Mm -hmm. And that's so neat. You walk the grounds in elegance with an entourage of your... Servants, is that what we call them?